Hi guys. Hello. Welcome Hello. back to another live stream here from Lugosu Portable Sawmills in now I can say sunny Härnösand, Sweden. We had uh, rain <laughs> the hour before, but now the sun is shining a bit at least, so that is nice. So uh, this is um, Milling Monday. Milling Monday. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Don't <laughs> and forget. And today we are going to walk you through our uh, Banzo mills the, from the B751 up to the B751 Pro and the B1001. And if you're interested in Lugosul and our products, please visit our homepage. Go to lugosul.com uh, where you will find uh, pricing, uh, more information about Lugosul and more inspirational content from us. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And that's Lugosul Portable Sawmills. If you are uh, interested in signing up for the newsletter, you can do that on our homepage. Just click the banner on top and uh, sign up and you will be the first to know about cool new products, uh, campaigns, and more inspirational content. From Logosul. Uh, we have done uh, quite a few live streams up until now. You can find all of them on Facebook and our YouTube channel. So go check them out if you haven't done that already. And subscribe to be notified about cool new content when we are online. And competitions. And competitions. <laughs> I hope you saw the competition last Friday between uh, me and Anders and Karin. I really hope so. And guess who won? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we'll stop doing competitions. Yes. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, you can as ask uh, questions in the chat. Just uh, write the questions in the chat on either Facebook or YouTube. And we will try to answer them between the uh, different Banso mill um, uh, walkthroughs. So let's uh, get started. Yes. So we'll uh, start by <coughs> go and uh, have a look at the B751. Yes, I need some more boards so I can. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Fix. The... I, for I forgot about Anders. Yeah. Mm. He's, he's a carpenter today. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to finish up these uh, wood wrecks. <laughs> racks. 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 <laughs> wood wrecks. Oh. Oh. Dinosaurs. Wrecks. <laughs> dinosaurs. Wrecks. Yes. Wrecks. Uh, wood racks. Racks. Uh, that we started to build last week. Yeah. Was it last week? Yeah. Yes, yes it was. Oh, time mm -hmm. flies. Mm -hmm. So Anders is going to finish up the one uh, that we had on the English live stream. So that will probably take like an hour or so. So we can just uh, go and have a look at the Benso mills during that time. Yeah. So what perfect. do you need? One mm. inch board? One inch board. Yes. Okay. And Anders will start with the coffee break. Yeah. <laughs> As we do in Sweden, always <laughs> coffee first. <laughs> coffee always first. Always fika. Fika. going to talk about <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Lugosul's B751. B751. And what does 751 stand for? It stands for the maximum log diameter. So the B751 can cut logs up to 75 centimeters in diameter uh, 
and it can it has a board width capacity of 60 centimeters or 600 millimeters or 600 millimeters <laughs> or 0.6 meters <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it comes with uh, two different motor options. Uh, we have the petrol engine that we have here, uh, 13 horsepower Briggs & Stratton. Uh, it also comes in a three-phase, uh, four kilowatt electric option. Uh, so that's uh, what you have to choose from. Uh, when we go over and look at the B751 Pro, we also have that in eight kilowatt, three-phase, or 18 horsepower uh, Vanguard motor uh, with electric start. So this uh, 13 horsepower is a hand start, magna pull mm -hmm. start. Uh, the B751 uh, comes with this uh, rail system, which is really clever. It's a uh, plate in a sandwich uh, construction. It's really easy to extend. The standard milling length is 4.8 meters, and you can extend it really quickly and, and, and easy. Uh, basically, as long as you want it to be. The B751, as all of our Banso mills, come with these super cool patented log clamps. Oh, sorry which uh, acts as a, as a double eccentric clamp. So we have this large sliding piece that takes up the space between the clamp and the log. And then we have the handle with another eccentric disc that pushes and clamps the, the log really uh, firm. These are amazing. And they, they work great. Outstanding. Uh, we have uh, the feedback we get from our customers is, is awesome because these are really easy to work with and they hold the log in a tight grip. Uh, the B751 comes with one of these and two of this. these, uh, which are the log supports. And these are just fixed in, not fixed in height, but you have three height settings. Uh, and those three height settings are all uh, marked on the height scale on the uh, saw head. So if you have it on the highest setting, you can see on the scale how low you can go before you hit the uh, log support. So really uh, nice feature. These are also uh, really easy to set up at an angle against the log bed or the cross bunk. So we have eccentric discs in the bottom where you can adjust it when you set it up for the first time so that you know that you have a perfectly straight or, or 90 degree angle between the log uh, support and the log bed. So it comes with two of these shorter ones and one log clamp. One. Yes. Really light and easy to open the lid. And it's it's really cool. Yeah. The design is outstanding. Yeah. And as you say, 
since we have a steel plate uh, in the bottom and down here and these plastic covers uh, the cover is really light and easy to attach with the hook on the top so you can uh, work on the inside here uh, we have a very a flat uh, back piece with no horizontal no, yeah, horizontal mm -hmm. uh, plates, which means that we don't have anywhere where sawdust can get caught. And that combined with the band wheels uh, that are designed as fan wheels, we actually push the sawdust out that way. The operator side is here, and the sawdust gets pushed out the opposite uh, direction. And as you can see on the inside, it's really easy to keep clean because of the flat surfaces without horizontal uh, plates and with the fan wheels that push the sawdust out. So you don't have to walk in the sawdust? We don't have to walk in the sawdust. No sawdust in That's the shoes. That's a good point. Yeah. And we don't have to clean the interior part very often or mm. at all perhaps no. sometimes it but it keeps it keeps itself clean on the inside really well yeah. uh, the band wheels it's got dual uh, sealed ball bearings we also have the blade guide rollers we have the adjustable blade guide roller uh, which is fixed with three ball bearings with the uh, uh, with the stainless steel sleeve so when you feel this you can actually feel the premium quality mm -hmm. of all of this really sturdy and exact uh, the blade guide rollers are fixed on stainless steel shafts those shafts are, of course, like on all our Benso mills, ad adjustable, so you can adjust them in and out, up and down and sideways as well. So you can set this sawmill up to get a perfect cut each time. The band wheels are, of course, adjustable as well when you line up the uh, saw blade. And this is something that we actually have gone through the, uh, during a live stream, a video that we have, setting up your bandsaw mill for the first cut. So go check that out if you're interested. The lid also have a safety hinge that uh, makes it impossible to start the motor when you have the lid open. We, we also have the <laughs> blade blade tension indicator on the inside of the lid. So we just open it up, tension it until the orange disc hits the indicators, then we know we have the correct uh, blade tension. And the tension is held by a spring, a linear spring. Some accessories that you can uh, add on the uh, B751 is, of course, additional log clamps. Uh, we can also add the uh, tow board, which is a, a really simple uh, but clever solution. It works as a lever, so you lift the log up in one end and attach the, uh, the lever on the locking mechanism on the side. We can actually turn the log around and put it face, face down. I do kind of one more table. Are you sure? I can't. 
I'm sure. <laughs> Great. The saw head is really sturdy built with these uh, pylons holding the, uh, uh, the, the motor plate in position, sliding up and down on these. Uh, and the plate is held up by chains. So we have a chain uh, system, which is really robust and exact and give you a smooth movement up and down. And one full turn on the handle is always one inch, no matter if you're up here or down here. We also have a fixed setting system or fixed height in increments of eighth of an inch. So one full turn is one inch and then we add one increment for the curve. So really easy to use. You get an exact, the exact same thickness board after board after board after board. And you don't have to measure on the log or look on a scale to to find the right setting all the time. You can just use the built-in settings in the machine. So saves time, gives you an excellent result all the time. We also have a really nice feature that we call the last cut indicator. We can have a look at that uh, on the other sawmills. Uh, later, but in short, it remembers the last height of the saw blade, the last cut you made. So when you're milling through and through and through and just leaving the boards there and you raise the saw head after each uh, cut, when you lift it up and go back, the last cut indicator remembers the last uh, cut that you made. So it's very easy to go down against that and just start milling again. So really fast, quite a simple thing, but it saves a lot of time. Super smart. Together with the, uh, the fixed steps. Yeah. Uh, the saw head is all, also held together with, uh, with an aluminum tank. So we have the water tank integrated into the frame of the saw head. Uh, so we don't have a loose plastic water tank somewhere. Instead, we have this aluminum tank that acts as a stabilizer at the same time. And which keeps the machine really clean. No unnecessary things. It's just the motor and nothing else on this side. So a really easy and, and minimalistic design. Mm. And makes the whole uh, saw head really robust. Really robust. I mean, when you, when you shake it, you can feel the difference mm. that it's robust and sturdy. And on top of the saw head, at the center of uh, gravity, we have lifting eyelets so that you can easily attach a lifting device to lift it on and off the, the rail. The saw head 
slides on four steel wheels, stainless steel wheels uh, with uh, ball bearings. So really nice and smooth movement of the saw head. So let's mill something. So easy. So easy. Uh, we had to produce some uh, some more unedged boards for Anders, who's building the the um, uh, firewood, firewood rack. racks. Uh, but you get the idea. It's really fast and easy to remember the last cut with the last cut indicator. Set it up with the fixed steps. I don't even have to think to just go for the next cut. So really fast and effective. Yes. A really nice board and long. Yes. And it cut like nothing. Yeah. We forgot to speak about the flag. Yes, you are right. Perhaps one of the things that we are most pr proud about yes. is that our bandsaw mills are made in Sweden. They are produced here in Hanusand. We assemble every machine in-house. And developed here And in developed Han here, developed by us. And we are really proud to market and sell a Swedish made, own made yeah. bandsaw mill. A high quality product, yeah. A really high quality and premium product. Mm. And as you can see, these small details actually add up and give you this extra, not confidence, but you save time and you, be more, you are more effective mm. with all these features that we've added. Mm. So it's a really great sawmill. It's the best sawmill in the world, actually. Yes. Hello. Hello. 
You, you've, come, it... you've come to collect? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So uh, let's head over to the um, P751 Pro. Yes. Let's check the um, chat first, if we have any questions. Yes. So Anders, how's it going? Fine. Fine, you have you oh you're almost finished. Yes. I t I told you you had a an hour. Oh yeah, but uh, yes. Yeah. Then I can go home earlier. Let, let's let's not hope for a windy day. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something. Oh, oh, sorry. Not not a single question or comment. So come on, if you have any questions. Write them in the chat and we will answer to them. So let's head over to the B751 Pro. Yes. The B751 Pro is very similar to the B751 in one regard. The saw head is the same. But on the B751 Pro, we've added the rail from the B1001. So it comes with the same capacity. You can mill logs up to 75 centimeters in diameter or boards up to 60 centimeters wide. But with the rail, the uh, super robust steel tube frame rail system that we have we can start adding other stuff and we have a really rigid base for the sawmill to handle big and heavy logs uh, we can for example add the trailer kit because the uh, rail is self I don't know, lifting? <laughs> no, no, self... Uh, self... Uh, quite a bad on that. Mm. Not self-sufficient. Now, uh, but we have a really, really stable uh, bed for the saw head. Uh, the, the trailer kit that you can add on is, is the axle and uh, six uh, support legs. So it uh, holds its own weight without anything extra on top of that. So the rail is super strong. Uh, on top of the rail, we have this stainless steel uh, rails that uh, were the uh, wheels, the stainless steel wheels that we have under the saw head slides on top of these rails. So they don't slide on top of the steel tubing, the powder coated steel tubing, but on these stainless steel strips that we have on top of it. And as you can see from the joints, it's a really strong and robust joint where the uh, steel tubing has been cut with the 3D laser, uh, like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm. So when you bolt them together, uh, they almost correct themselves right away. So really easy to extend. And of course, with this uh, heavy duty frame, we can add on other stuff as well, such as the log handling system. And we can add these large logs without damaging the, the rails or the bed frame. It's re really easy to set up. Super easy, and yeah. it comes with these legs, this yeah. or these feet, support feet. So this is a standard B751 Pro. Yes. So we will look at the other one later with the trailer kit and extra accessories. So this is 4.8 meters long, and that's uh, the same as all our uh, all our Banso mill models: the B751, mm. B751 Pro, and the B1001. 
you can mill 4.8 meters uh, in standard length and you can extend them uh, based on your needs. The B751 Pro comes with two of these patented extremely good log clamps. It comes with two of these shorter uh, log supports and it also comes with two of these longer log supports. So that's the standard equipment and uh, when we'll go over and look at the more uh, the B751 Pro with a bit of more extra accessories you will see the other uh, log clamping system that we have. We didn't say anything about this uh, when we looked at the B751. No, it's I think exactly. I think that that's a really small detail, but very smart. In the log bed, we have a built-in edge, which means that when you have a cant like this with two uh, milled sides, we can actually remove the log supports completely and just clamp the log against those uh, small uh, edges uh, and that means that you can go down to one inch or 25 millimeters from the log bed as your lowest cut. And we also get the question how much of a log you can fit on top of the saw blade. Yeah. And you can fit eight inches at least between the saw blade and up here. The B751 Pro uh, comes with the 18 horsepower Vanguard engine with electric start or the 8 kilowatt three phase uh, 400 volt electric motor. Let's head over to the Pro with some extra accessories. Yes. Ah, we have a perfect question. Look, uh, here. Listen to this. What features make log loading easier on this mill? Can one person operate it? Huh? That's an excellent question. <laughs> uh, this is the B751, uh, where we have added some extra Pro. accessories. Mm? B751 Pro. Uh, as you can see, we have the same frame as the B1001 and on top of that we've added the log holding system XL so this is the same type of clamp the very good clamp that we have uh, but with a, with the larger steel tube on the bottom of it and we have this new plate to accommodate the higher and more robust log holder. So you can purchase these in a kit with two log clamps. I think we need to. Thanks. And two log supports. And you can see comparing these to the standard ones. These are perfect if you're working with mainly larger logs. And you have this uh, steel roller on top as well to help you when you roll around the logs, when you turn the logs on the log bed. Uh, these can also be adjusted sideways so that you can get them exactly square with the log bed. So that comes in a kit. Toge and together with the together with the with the plate that holds both the uh, log support and the log clamp, and of course, if you 
if you add this to your B751 Pro, you can, or your B1001, uh, you can keep the ones that you have already with the, with the smaller log clamps. So you can use the ones that um, is needed for depending on the, the trees you are milling at the moment. We've also put this one on a trailer kit. As you can see, we have the trailer axle in the middle, or not exactly in the middle. Uh, and we've extended this with an extra extension. So we have eight support legs in total. So really easy to set it up and to get started milling right away. And now my favorite, <laughs> favorite tool of the day. This is the log loading and log turning system or winch. So it's a two speed winch uh, with the wire system. And if you use this together with the log loading ramps, you can easily load your logs yourself. Even though if you have it stationary, you can use this one to load the logs. If you're uh, working al alone, and handling large logs. It's a fantastic tool. And it doubles as a log turner. So when you have these large logs and you want to turn them around, it's really easy to use this winch. You just hook the log on the other side and turn it around. I love it. It's mm -hmm. probably the best accessory, according to me. Uh, I think to, so the, too. to the B751 Pro or the B1001. Yeah. Even if you don't have a trailer kit. Yeah, and even if you have a tractor or something to, to load the logs with, this is a fantastic tool to turn them around. Yeah. So you well, don't have to start. Really easy machine. to use and safe. Yeah. And you're standing on the safe side when you're, you have the log uh, supports on that side. Yeah. And it's just to fold it down and it stays here when you mill. And then it's out of your way. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's something that we think is super good when you are milling alone and you need some extra help without calling a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've uh, added also the uh, tow board. The hydraulic, hand hydraulic tow board, uh, really nice when you have these uh, larger logs to mill. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have this uh, simple uh, tow board, you can manage logs up to 50 centimeters in diameter, approximately. But over that, it's it's really hard to uh, to compensate for the taper with that tow board. But with this one. Uh, with the hydraulic jack, it's really easy to handle even the largest logs. We are going to watch a film from uh, April Wilkerson, based in Texas, Wilker does. Uh, she's got the uh, B1001, and this is a video from her uh, assembling and trying it out for the first time. Enjoy! This week I am having a lot of fun because in this video I'm showing you the ins and outs of my new bandsaw mill. Dun, 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 dun. To give you a brief recap of my milling history, I've used my first chainsaw mill back in 2018, which was the Grandberg system. It got me excited and hooked on milling in the first place. It wasn't long after that that I wanted more capacity and started exploring bandsaw mills. So that in 2019 I built the Matt Cremona mill with Matt and two of our friends. It has a six foot cutting capacity and is currently housed safely under an awning at my commercial building called the Woodshed. We use this for any logs that are over 36 inches cut capacity, such as this large heritage oak saved from the Austin landfill. Then in 2020, I added a Logosol portable chainsaw mill to the lineup. This is a huge upgrade from the Grandberg system in the chainsaw mill category and would give me a way to take a mill to the logs rather than always having to bring the logs to my bandsaw mill. If you're interested in that review, I have left you a link down in the description. This mill can handle up to a 27 and a half inch diameter log. 
You would think, as I did at that time, that my mill lineup was complete. However, I found myself in situations where there was still plenty of logs under that 27 and a half inch capacity, but then a few that I was having to leave behind because they were over it. This led me to look at a bandsaw mill that had a larger cut capacity. This one is 36 inches, but also gave me the option of portability. This log saw mill has a trailer package, so when I get a call on trees, I now either have the option of going to grab the logs and bringing them back to the woodshed to slab up, or I can deploy the chainsaw mill and bandsaw mill to slab the trees on site. After I first put it together, I was curious to see if a single person could move it, and go figure, you can. For the first test run, me and my team used the buggy to haul it around back where I store the logs. This is a huge pile of pecan. Dave and I spent three days hauling to the woodshed to save from getting cut up and burned. If I had the mill at the time, we would have just hauled it to the house and slabbed everything on site. The mill is very easy to maneuver into place, even with something as small as a UTV. One of my favorite features is the easy and precise height adjustment Logosol has created. It all happens with a turn of a handle on the push bar. It's set up to turn in different increments so that you can adjust by eighth an inch for the curve, a quarter inch, or a full turn, which is always gonna be one inch exactly. And even though it doesn't add function, I love the subtle Swedish flag built into the carriage so it proudly waves as it's working. The carriage moves incredibly smooth over the rails, which is a big testament to the material choice of Logosol. But it's also credited to how good of a job you put in during the setup stage. The carriage is shipped as a complete unit, then the trailer is shipped in parts that you assemble. When it first arrived, I used a chain hoist around a beam in my ceiling to hoist it slightly up, then drove out from under it to lower it down to the ground. It does weigh a few hundred pounds, so while a few strong people could lift it up, I would recommend pulling in a chain hoist or piece of equipment. It took me two days to put together the trailer. Since it's mobile, I went ahead and built it indoors to take advantage of the climate control, but also the big flat floor. If you do this, just make sure you have a doorway large enough to get it out after it's assembled. I am not one for enjoying assembling machines. I love to use them, but not put them together. However, Logosol is just so impressive with their engineering. I found myself loving the savvy thought process put into the details. It's the same way I felt when assembling the chainsaw mill. It's very clear as Logosol products are going together that it's well thought out and intended to be excellent. Once the main bed was assembled, I hopped on my forklift and with the help of David and a few straps, set the entire thing directly on the rails. If you don't have a forklift, then again, I recommend a chain hoist. After the carriage is in place, it can be secured to the rails. Then the other items can quickly be added on, such as the engine, throttle handle, and belt. I typically keep all of the slabs on the mill, but this day I was excited to see the inside of these salvaged pecan logs and also give you guys a glimpse inside. The first peek inside of a log is by far the best part of milling. You just never know what sort of surprise character is gonna be hidden within. One side of the bed has steel posts that can be adjusted up and down to catch the log. The blade rotates this way, which will pull the log into these posts. In addition to the posts, Logosol has these really ingenious cam locks that fit into the cross sections of the bed to clamp the log into place. If you need a clamp, you just need to use the cam to wedge it up against the log snugly, then use the locking feature to hold its position. You can use these on the other side to press the log into the steel post, or if you have a curved log, then placing a cam lock on both sides is a great way to hold it in the middle of the bed instead of up against one of the side posts. In my opinion, there are so many cool features on this mill, and having such a great quality piece of equipment just makes the process of milling that much more fun. If you've been looking at getting a portable bandsaw mill, then I definitely recommend this one. I've been to Sweden and have met the Logosol team in person and was impressed with their mindset, their work ethic, and dedication to producing quality products while cultivating people's passion for milling. If you're interested in buying a bandsaw mill, then you're more than welcome to stop by the woodshed and see mine in person. I'd be happy to walk you through it. It's also worth noting that I carry the Logosol chainsaw mills as well as a room full of slabs if you're not interested in milling yourself, but just interested in the byproducts. I really hope that you have found this video informative and I've linked to everything down in the description if you wanna check out my other reviews, um, what I'm currently doing at the woodshed or Logosol. So 
I will see you on whatever I'm working on next, guys. Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that oh. video from April. <laughs> oh, wake, wake up, Anders. Wake up, Anders. <laughs> Go finish your woodshed. I am ready. Or wood rack, wreck. Rex. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go and have a look at our biggest pencil mill. This is our B1001. And it can handle logs up to one meter in diameter and a maximum board width of 85 centimeters. That's huge. And I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really it's cool. It's really design. cool. Nice colors. Looks modern. Yeah. And packed with the same cool features as we have on all our bandsaw mills. You guys should know this by now. <laughs> we have the blade uh, band wheels uh, acting as fan wheels. So uh, we blow the sawdust out with an incredible speed. <gasps> and look at this inside. There's almost no sign of sawdust. And we've bil been milling quite a lot uh, with this panso mill, believe it or not. And it's basically no sawdust in here. So we have this flat plate in the back, no horizontal surfaces where, where sawdust can get caught. And it blows out on that side. And we've, a we've actually put, um, what do you call that, Colin? A hose. Hose. A chip hose on that side just to prevent the sawdust from flying all the way to Anders over there <laughs> 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 to keep it in a in a nice nice line on the uh, on the floor <laughs> I almost said. and, and on the this ground. is very important I mean what you want to do is to mill and work with the sawmill not clean something you That's want it so to be milling yeah. all the time you don't want to do everything all around you don't no. want to clean it you don't want to uh, calculate and, and figure out what to get from each cut everything is built into this sawmill to Super save smart. to save you time and you have a small detail here an arrow so Showing you can see the correct uh, direction of the of the rotation yeah exactly so they go like this and blow the sawdust out there. And same here, we have the uh, dual uh, sealed ball bearings, aluminum band wheels. We also have the tension indicator on the inside. We have a plastic window here we, where we can see that we have the correct uh, blade tension. We have the really robust uh, adjustable blade guide. It just screams quality. You can feel it when you slide <laughs> it back and forth. Yeah. We have the blade guide rollers that push the, the bandsaw blade down four or five millimeters uh, to guide the blade even better. And the blade guide rollers can be adjusted individually in and out, up and down and sideways to give you the absolute best setting or alignment of the bandsaw blade and giving you the best cut possible. And this lid. Super light, but still fills its purpose. And we have air inlets here as well. So the, the fan wheels can work really well. So you can take in air here and it th throws the air out on that side. And I mean, going from here, where you have the most uh, narrowest between the blade guide rollers to here, giving you 
the 85 centimeter full width, uh, full board width. It's a huge opening, actually. The same robust uh, saw head, slightly higher than the B751 and Pro, uh, and also wider than the B751 and the Pro. The uh, stabilizing beam over here on the 1001 is even bigger and that means that it holds uh, more water as well because this still acts as a water tank in combination with a stabilizing beam to stabilize the whole sawmill and you can you can feel it when you move it it's mm. super steady and heavy and slide on those uh, stainless steel uh, plates in the bottom on the uh, ball bearing wheels, stainless steel wheels with ball bearings, give you a super smooth ride. Have you shown the hooks? No, we have a parking brake on the B7, on the B1001, and on the B751 as well. So this hook keeps the saw head in either the uh, bottom, uh, furthermost, the position over here, <laughs> or the starting position. Uh, so when when the lock is in place, you can't move it. So lift up the lock and you can slide it back and forth. Super good when you are working with the log and you don't want the saw head to, to roll over you. Yeah. Okay, should we take some close-ups? Yes. Open the lid, clicks in place. The blade tension indicator, we have the orange uh, spring in there. Have to pass the two indicator points over there, then you know it's the correct blade tension. Uh, we have a window there to keep sawdust from getting in. We have the wheel, uh, the non-driven wheel, with just the a belt in the wheel. And on this side we have the driven wheel with the centrifugal cut clutch and the belt going over the wheel and the belt tensioner over here. Uh, and as you can see here on the blade guide rollers, we have these four adjusting screws so we can Perhaps adjust it back. perfectly. I hope they can see it now. Over there. Yeah. Okay. And over here we have the uh, last cut indicator which follows along whenever you lower the saw head to make a cut and then when you want to pass the milled board and go back again and then you go down to prepare for the next cut you know that this is where my previous cut was and now it's easy to go from there one turn and one increment means that I get a one inch board. So <clears throat> super fast and easy. Mm. You don't have to think about it very much. And also this production scale, 
This is the absolute scale showing you the distance in inch or millimeters from the bottom of the sole blade down to the uh, log bed. And on the production scale we have the curve uh, calculated in, these, uh, in this scale which means that if you have made a cant and you want to mill that cant into boards and if you hit one of these marks <coughs> when you take the, uh, the off cut of that cant you know that you will end up for example if I hit this one inch mark here and I want to do one inch boards I know that I will end up at a one inch board in the bottom so no measuring on the log, nothing. You can do everything from the sawmill scale. On and off for the water, really easy. Uh, you have the uh, water flow adjuster. It's just the uh, tube that goes through the, through the plate. So we can adjust it to increase or reduce the flow so really simple and effective no moving parts here no extra adjustment valve just this uh, uh, groove in the plate where you can adjust the flow and just turn it on and off with this lever here and this is what I was talking about as well. We have the motor, we have the battery for the 18 and the 23 horsepower. Uh, so it's really clean here. Mm. Nothing, nothing else on that shelf. So super easy to maintain. And this massive water tank up here on the 1001. That's higher than the B751 and the B751 Pro. And a really clever height adjustment crank with these uh, increments of eight of an inch. So eight increments for one full turn. To save time and mm. to give you the correct and exact dimensions board after board after board. So, <laughs> these are the things that uh, we've shown you now that we think makes these mills the best Banso mills in the world, period. We are super happy, super proud to be able to offer such high-quality Swedish-made benzo mills. And we have so many happy customers that give us that feedback yeah. every single day. All around the world. All actually. around the world. And we are happy to support you. So if you ha have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us or our dealers or distributors. Just head over to logosul.com to find where we have a dealer closest to you. And you are perfectly welcome to contact the Logosul headquarters in Sweden as well. You can find our contact details on logosul.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.